Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today we're gonna paint some wheels okay we're gonna paint the wheels on our 96 f-150 we're getting ready to turn that into our business vehicle for our stump grinding business and so we decided we're gonna paint these suckers black today bring the camera on down and we'll show the good people what we've already done the other day we cleaned the truck up real good we got the pressure washer out we took the wheels off of the vehicle. I scrubbed them with uh, purple power and a red scotch bright and some Dawn dishwashing detergent. We cleaned these wheels really good and we pressure washed them inside and out, okay? And they've dried for about 36 hours, I think. So we're, they're nice and dry now. And we're gonna paint these rascals today. So stay tuned and we'll show you how we get this done. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a couple different paints that you can use on your wheels. Uh, if you look right here, this is probably the easiest thing to do is just to take some uh, wheel paint. Duplicolor makes a pretty good quality wheel paint. I've used these on wheels in the past. It comes in silver, it comes in black, it comes in a graphite. The graphite looks really nice on wheels. But today, guys, we're actually gonna step it up a little bit. We've actually went to the paint store and we bought some acrylic urethane and we've got this mixed up in a single stage, black, just solid, glossy black. And we're gonna spray it with an HVLP paint gun today, okay? So some of the things you're gonna need, <clears throat> you're gonna need the paint, you're gonna need the hardener to go along with it, you're gonna need a mixing cup, you're gonna need to know what the ratio of your paint is, and a paint strainer, and of course a mixing stick. So stay tuned and we'll show you how we get this mixed up and we'll go out there and paint that uh, set of wheels. Okay, let's talk about paints and paint systems, okay? This stuff here is called Dynacoat, all right? Now, every paint will have a, a, a particular procedure for mixing, okay? This one here is pretty simple. You just put the paint and the hardener together, okay? Some paint systems, you'll have a reducer you'll have to add into that equation as well. So if you look here on the front of this, it tells you right here that the ratio is three to one, okay? So we're gonna mix, uh, let's, see if it, let's see if I can see it here. We're mixing three parts paint to one part hardener, okay? So this is our paint, of course, and this is our hardener. And if you've never done this before, you can buy these little cups at the paint store. This makes life a lot easier. You look for the cup, the ratio that your paint calls for on the cup, right here, we're at the three to one, all right? So depending on how much we wanna put in this cup, if we wanted to mix up a lot, we'd start off at the seven mark, okay, with the paint. And then, and when that's filled up, we would put the hardener in till we get to the seven mark on the one part ratio, okay? I don't think we're gonna need that much today. What we're probably gonna do is mix it up to the Four or the five, I haven't made my decision yet. Either the four, let's say the four. We fill it up to the four, and then we'll put the hardener up to this four line, okay? Now these other lines are for other things that you wanna add. Let's say you were supposed to add, it looks like the next one is uh, for 10% of reducer. So you would fill that, fill it up to that, to that line. And you can see it's just a little bit difference, okay? And the next line over would be another half. And then over here to this four mark would be another four to one to one, okay? I know that might seem a little complicated, but today we're just gonna worry about the first two lines here, okay? So stay tuned and we're gonna open up this paint and we'll go ahead and get it mixed up and we'll go spray some. Hey guys, I wanna give you a little disclaimer uh, before we go any further, okay? Spraying catalyzed paints can be harmful to your health, okay? you should actually wear an air supplied respirator when spraying uh, any type of catalyzed paints. They have isocyanates in them, which is a form of cyanide, okay? And if taken in for a long period of time, it can cause some health problems, all right? Now, we don't have an air supplied respirator here today. We're actually just gonna be using a, um, I think it's a 3M charcoal um, air filter that you know, basically just goes over your, your nose and your mouth, okay? That's what we're gonna be using today, but we are also spraying outdoors, okay? And we're spraying at a very low pressure and we're not spraying a whole lot. I'm not, it's not like I'm trying to paint a whole car, okay? So guys, I just wanna let you know that disclaimer today, anytime you're spraying catalyzed paints, do know there are some health risks, okay? All right, let's get back to it. 
I'm going to go ahead and get this paint open and get this stuff mixed up. Okay, guys. Hey, we got the can open. Uh, as you can see, the paint is definitely black. And um, the guy at the store shook it up today, so I'm just giving it a couple stirs. I think we should be okay. Like I say, I just got this today. And we're going to go ahead and figure out where we're going to fill this thing up at. Let me move this gun out of the way just in case I spill some. Because sometimes getting the first little bit out of your can is a little tricky. So we're going three to one. Let me get down here at an angle where I can kind of look and see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go on up to the five mark. What do you think, Nathaniel? Five mark sound good to you? Yeah, anyhow, uh, this is too strong. Don't breathe on it. <laughs> Daniel does not like the smell of all this. All right, we're going to go up to the five mark. It will take your breath. All right, let's see what that does right there. Almost there. Well, let's just let it run into there. There we go. We're right at the five mark, guys. There we go. Dead on the money. Okay, now we have our hardener that we just bought. Let's see. Bring the camera around here so they can see. Bring it down. Bring it down just a little bit. We're looking right here on the three to one ratio. And as you can see, it's right there on that first line, on that first five mark there, okay? Now let me turn it back around here where I can see it. And we're going to go ahead and put our hardener in. As you notice, we made a little bit of a mess here. That's why I got a box underneath here. Okay. So five. So we're going to go up to the one part on the second line. And guys, there we are right there. So we got our hardener in there, put our lid back on that, and we're going to go ahead and start stirring this up. All right, guys, we're stirring our paint up here, and I believe we probably got it stirred up good enough. We got all the hardener stirred in. Okay. Let's pull that out for a second. We're going to open the top of our paint gun. And I believe it's nice and clean here. I believe it is. Put the lid right there. And I have a strainer, okay? And these paint strainers you can pick up at your paint, paint store as well. And uh, I'm going to hold that right there. Hold the gun here. And I'm going to start pouring this paint in here, okay? So we're going to... We're actually just filtering it just in case there's any uh, pieces of trash or particulates in here that would end up in our paint gun with our paint. Okay, let's go ahead and give it one extra. Let's go and pour it all in there. I think we can definitely get it all in there. All right, guys, let's go paint. Okay, guys, we're going to paint, paint these wheels. Now, first thing I'm going to do is actually flip each one of them over, and I'm going to try to get on the inside of each wheel just one little coat just to get this coloring inside here if I can. Then after that, we won't be picking them up anymore after that. All we want to do is this right here. I'll cut my pressure down just a little bit. Guys, what I'm trying to do now is just get in these little openings here. I want to make sure I get enough paint kind of blown in there. Oh, I got a little drip right there. All right, we'll just take them over that now. Okay, so 
gonna run through the other two to get them. Okay guys, you probably wonder why we're painting these wheels with the tires on there. I never did even mention that to you because these tires wore out and we got a brand new set of Goodyear white letter tires in here that we're gonna mount on these suckers probably tomorrow, okay? After they dry good overnight. Bring the camera down. As you can see, after one coat, these things are looking pretty doggone good, okay? And I think we got enough paint here to put another coat on everything. So stay tuned, we'll let it tack up, we'll shoot another coat. Okay, folks, I think that just about does it. I actually done like a little double coat for my second coat. I went around it, done a coat, and then come immediately right back over it before it had any time to uh, tack. I call that a double coat. And if you look at the wheels, bring the camera on down. I think it's looking pretty good. I actually have enough paint left in my can here probably to put a third coat on, but I'm not even gonna do that. I'm happy with the way it is. I've got good coverage. I've got, it looks like it's laying out pretty good. Bring the camera on up a little closer there and things so good people can see. You see that looks pretty good. And guys, with catalyzed paint, it's gonna dry like that. It's gonna look wet even when it's dry. And that's the beautiful thing about buying a higher quality paint versus just shooting it with a can of uh, paint from a spray can. So these wheels are gonna look really nice. And like I said, tomorrow we'll uh, break these tires down and we got a brand new set of tires that we're gonna mount on here. And we'll actually demonstrate our tire machine and balancer for you while we do that. We'll, we'll make a little instructional video on how to, ma how to mount and balance the tire. All right, let's see, let me walk back over here. Thank you. Put the camera up on me, on my ugly face. Guys, thank you for stopping by today, checking out our video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, also uh, check out our other channels, RJW Financial Coaching and uh, our other channel, The Personal Body Makeover. Take care, guys. Tell a friend about us. See you next time.